Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss about stagnation properties, then I am going to derive expression for stagnation pressure, stagnation density and stagnation temperature and area velocity relationship and its related problems. Now let us first go for what is stagnation property. So when a fluid is flowing past an immersed body and at a point on the body, if the resultant velocity becomes zero, the values of pressure, temperature and density at that point are called stagnation properties. For example, you can see your body that is represented by a hatchet line and fluid is flowing over a body. So this case is similar to flow of fluid over a flat plate. I already discussed about velocity profile. In velocity profile, the velocity at a point on the stationary plate is zero. That is because of no slip region. Uh, so no slip region means the fluid is going to stick to the uh, flat plate. So it attains a velocity zero. Then uh, gradually velocity increases. So similar concept can be applied for this case also. So when the velocity or resultant velocity that becomes zero at a point on the body, then that is called as stagnation point. The properties corresponding to stagnation point is called as stagnation properties. So the point is called stagnation point. The values of pressure, density and temperature are called stagnation pressure, stagnation density and stagnation temperature respectively. This point, this is a point, stagnation point is a point at which the resultant velocity is zero. The properties corresponding to that point is called a stagnation properties. So you can see the diagram here. <coughs> now let us de uh, derive expression for stagnation pressure. So consider consider a compressible fluid is not incompressible fluid. We are considering here compressible fluid that is density is going to change with respect to flow or with respect to temperature. So consider a compressible fluid flowing past an immersed body under frictionless adiabatic condition as shown in a figure below. So this is a diagram of a compressible fluid is flowing over a body. Consider two points one and two on a streamline as shown in figure. So you have to consider two points one and two or two point uh, first point is uh, like along the streamline and second point should be on body. So let P1 equal to pressure of compressible fluid at point 1, V1 equal to velocity of fluid at point 1 and rho1 equal to density of fluid at point 1. P2, V2 and rho2 are corresponding values of pressure, velocity and density at point 2. Applying Bernoulli's equation for adiabatic flow at point 1 and 2. So I already derived expression for uh, uh, expression for adiabatic process using Bernoulli's equation. Hope you remember that is gamma divided by gamma minus 1 or k divided by k minus 1 into p1 divided by rho 1 g plus v1 square divided by 2 g plus z1 that is equal to gamma divided by gamma minus 1 into p2 divided by rho 2 g plus v2 square divided by 2 g plus z2. So this is for two points. So, but z1 equal to z2 because the there is no datum difference. So, dz equal to 0. So, therefore, the above equation becomes gamma divided by gamma minus 1 into p1 divided by rho 1 g plus v1 square divided by 2 g that is equal to gamma divided by gamma minus 1 into p2 divided by rho 2 g plus v2 square divided by 2 g. So, you can cancel g term, there is a g term is acceleration due to gravity is common. So, you can divide by g. Uh, so we are going to get gamma divided by gamma minus 1, p1 divided by rho 1 into v1 plus v1 square divided by 2 that is equal to gamma divided by gamma minus 1 into p2 divided by rho 2 plus v2 square divided by 2. So upon cancelling we are going to get this expression. Point 2 is a stagnation point. I already discussed about this thing. A point 2 should be considered on a body. As a point uh, corresponding to point 2 resultant velocity is 0. So hence velocity will become zero at stagnation point and pressure density will be denoted by Ps and rho s that is stagnation pressure and uh, stagnation density. So from the definition of stagnation property or stagnation point V2 equal to zero that is just because resultant velocity at a point on the body should be equal to zero and P2 equal to Ps and rho2 equal to rho s that is stagnation pressure and stagnation density respectively. Substituting these values in the above Bernoulli's equation, we are going to we get gamma divided by gamma minus 1, p1 divided by rho 1 plus v1 square divided by 2. There is no modification with respect to first term and we have to make modification in right hand side equation. Uh, 2 should be replaced by point 2 should, 
uh, should be replaced by a stagnation point so that becomes equal to gamma divided by gamma minus 1 ps divided by rho s plus plus v2 square divided by 2 v2 square divided by 2 that becomes 0 that is because of stagnation point so uh, gamma divided by gamma minus 1 you can uh, rearrange the terms you can uh, uh, you can take together pressure uh, pressure head terms together p1 divided by rho 1 minus ps divided by rho s that is equal to and you can take v1 square divided by 2 to the other side that becomes that time it becomes minus minus v1 square divided by 2 or gamma divided by gamma minus 1 into p1 divided by rho 1 you can take p1 rho 1 divided by rho 1 term common from uh, bracket term so that time for uh, uh, p1 divided by rho 1 1 minus ps by rho s as it is uh, uh, then you have to multiply by rho 1 divided by p1 so that you have to get after multiplication ps divided by rho s so ps divided by rho s into p1 uh, rho 1 divided by p1 uh, close the bracket that is equal to minus v1 square divided by 2 or gamma divided by gamma minus 1 p1 divided by rho 1 into 1 minus ps divided by p1 into rho 1 divided by rho s uh, equal to minus v1 square divided by 2 take it as expression 1 F but for adiabatic process we have uh, there is a relation characteristic equation p by rho to the power gamma or rho to the power k equal to constant so applying this concept or characteristic equation to, for two points p1 divided by rho 1 to the power gamma equal to ps divided by rho s to the power gamma here point 2 should be replaced by stagnation point so uh, get expression for p1 divided by ps upon rearrangement that is equal to rho 1 to the power gamma divided by rho s to the power gamma now i want expression for rho 1 divided by rho s so just rearrange rho 1 divided by rho s that is equal to p1 divided by ps to the power 1 by gamma take it as expression 2 substituting the values uh, substituting the values of p1 rho 1 divided by rho s in equation 1 we get this is the equation 1 that is gamma divided by gamma 1 p1 divided by rho 1 into 1 minus ps divided by p1 into rho 1 divided by rho s that is equal to minus v1 square divided by 2 in place of rho 1 divided by rho s you are supposed to substitute p1 divided by ps to the power 1 by gamma so upon substitution it becomes gamma divided by gamma minus 1 into p1 divided by rho 1 into 1 minus ps divided by p1 into p1 divided by ps to the power 1 by gamma that is equal to minus v1 square divided by 2 so or gamma divided by gamma minus 1 p1 divided by rho 1 into 1 minus ps divided by p1 and you make a rearrangement in p1 divided by ps to the power 1 by gamma in such a way that you have to get value ps divided by p1 so ps divided by p1 can be obtained that is just by taking reciprocal so ps divided or to the power minus so ps divided by p1 into ps divided by p1 to the power minus 1 by gamma close the bracket that is equal to minus v1 square divided by 2 or gamma divided by gamma minus 1 p1 divided by rho 1 into 1 minus you can combine together ps divided by p1 so ps divided by p1 uh, the power 1 from first term 1 minus and minus 1 by gamma from second term so it becomes 1 minus 1 by gamma equal to minus v1 square divided by 2 or 1 minus 1 minus a ps divided by p1 to the power 1 minus 1 by gamma that is equal to you take rho, uh, p1 divided by rho 1 to the other side then it becomes rho 1 divided by p1 so minus v1 square divided by 2 into gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into rho 1 divided by p1 now here in the terms uh, take v1 square divided by 2 the term to the uh, left hand side so 1 plus v1 square divided by 2 into gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into rho 1 divided by p1 that is equal to ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma upon taking lcm take it as expression 3 now for adiabatic process the velocity of sound is given by i already derived this expression for adiabatic expression uh, first i derived a general expression that is c equal to square root of dp by d rho equal to uh, k by rho square root of k by rho and i uh, uh, simplified that expression for two cases isothermal and adiabatic for adiabatic process c equal to that is the velocity of sound equal to square root of gamma rt or k rt so uh, that is equal to uh, 
uh, square root of gamma into p by rho because uh, rt can be replaced by p by rho that is from equation of state p by rho equal to rt so rt can be replaced by p by rho so that is equal to square root of gamma into p by rho uh, now for the point 1 I am going to calculate the velocity of sound for the point 1 so c should be replaced by c1 c1 equal to square root of gamma into p, uh, p by rho should be replaced or should be replaced for point 1 so p1 divided by rho 1 or taking uh, taking square on both sides c1 square equal to gamma into p1 divided by rho 1 so substituting the value of c1 square uh, equal to gamma into p1 divided by rho 1 in equation 3 that is equation 3 is 1 plus v1 square divided by 2 into gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into rho 1 divided by p1 that is equal to ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. So uh, value uh, uh, first here in the expression 3 that becomes 1 plus v1 square divided by 2 into gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into 1 divided by p1 divided by rho 1 that is equal to ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. Now uh, gamma into p1 divided by rho 1 uh, equation can be uh, term can be replaced by c1 square. So 1 plus v1 square divided by 2 gamma minus 1 into 1 divided by c1 square that is equal to ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma or 1 plus v1 square divided by 2 c1 square just uh, re rearrangement into gamma minus 1 equal to ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma or 1 plus m1 square divided by 2 into gamma minus 1 equal to ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. Now from where do you got this m1? So m1 equal to actually v divided v1 divided by c1 that is velocity of sound velocity of uh, uh, fluid to velocity of sound. So for the for the case or point 1. So that is the Mach number m1 square divided by 2 into gamma minus 1 that is equal to ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma or ps divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into m1 square. So that is just because you have to get expression for ps that is the stagnation pressure. So uh, now you take uh, 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 gamma minus 1 divided by gamma you have to cancel on your left hand side that can be taking uh, cancelled by taking the root so ps divided by p1 equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 into m1 square uh, to the power gamma divided by gamma minus 1 take it as expression 4 now ps if you want expression for ps there is a stagnation pressure so ps equal to just multiply p1 to the other side p1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 into m1 square to the power gamma divided by gamma minus 1 so that is the expression for stagnation pressure you have to remember this expression this is very important for solving the problem okay let us go for expression for stagnation density so we have uh, uh, rho 1 divided by rho s that is equal to p1 divided by p s to the power 1 by gamma from equation 2. So we are going to start from equation 2 itself here. We have to remember equation 2. So taking a reciprocal because we want expression for stagnation density that is rho s but we have rho 1 divided by rho s. You have to get rho, rho s. So I have to take reciprocal here. Rho s divided by rho 1 equal to p s divided by p1 to the power 1 by gamma. So rho s equal to just multiply cross multiply rho 1 to the other side rho 1 into p s divided by p1 to the power 1 by gamma. So substituting the value of p s by p1 from equation 4. This equation 4 is uh, p s divided by p1 equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 into m1 square to the power gamma divided by gamma minus 1. Just substitute p s by p1 in place of p s by p1. So p, rho s equal to rho 1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 m1 square uh, to the power gamma divided by gamma minus 1 to the power 1 by gamma. So you can cancel here gamma terms. So rho s equal to rho 1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 m1 square to the power 1 divided by gamma minus 1. Upon cancelling gamma term you are left with 1, 1 divided by gamma minus 1 term. So expression for stagnation density is given by rho s equal to rho 1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 m1 square to the power 1 divided by gamma minus 1. 
Now last one, expression for stagnation temperature. If we get expression for stagnation pressure and stagnation density, it is very easy to get expression for stagnation temperature. That is from equation of state. So equation of state is given by P by rho equal to RT. Now we have to uh, replace this P by rho for stagnation point. So for the stagnation point, we have equation of state as PS divided by rho S equal to RTS. This gas, gas constant remains same that it should, that should not be replaced by RS. So that is, that's, that is the value for some gas. So that is equal to RTS. So make a rearrangement to get TS. There's a stagnation temperature. TS equal to 1 divided by R into PS divided by rho S. So substituting the values of PS and rho S, whatever you have obtained from previous case or previous derivation. So we get TS equal to 1 by R P1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 into M1 square to the power gamma divided by gamma minus 1 divided by rho 1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 M1 square to the power 1 divided by gamma minus 1. So just make a rearrangement that is equal to 1 divided by R P1 divided by rho 1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 M1 square. So take uh, LCM here gamma divided by gamma minus 1 minus 1 divided by gamma minus 1. So upon taking LCM uh, TS equal to 1 divided by R P1 divided by rho 1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 M1 square to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma minus 1. So you can cancel here that becomes 1. So equal to P1 divided by rho 1 R into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 M1 square to the power 1. So TS equal to RT1 divided by R. Can you guess from where you where I got this RT1? That is from equation of state that is P1 divided by rho 1 equal to RT1. So you can replace P1 by rho 1 by a term RT1. So TS equal to RT1 divided by R into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 M1 square as P1 divided by rho 1 equal to RT1. So you can cancel R term. So TS equal to T1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 into M1 square. So this is an expression for stagnation temperature. So you have to remember these three expressions. One thing is you can utilize that formulas for solving the problem. Otherwise in like two or three papers they are asked like this. Or uh, write a note on stagnation point and give expression for stagnation pressure, stagnation density and stagnation temperature. So I have to remember if you remember this thing then you can just define the terms like T1 is the temperature at uh, point 1 and M1 is the local uh, Mach number, gamma is ratio of specific heat and T is the stagnation temperature. Similar thing you can apply for stagnation pressure and stagnation density. Okay, next, okay, next topic area velocity relationship. So the area velocity relationship for incompressible fluid is given by continuity equation as A into V equal to constant where A is cross sectional area, V is flow velocity that is equal to constant. From the above equation you can like otherwise A equal to C by V. From the above equation it is clear that with the increase of area velocity decreases because A is inversely proportional to velocity. So, but in case of compressible fluid, the continuity equation is given by rho into A into V equal to constant because you have to consider rho value here, continuity equation because rho of compressible fluid that is going to change. So, rho into A into V equal to constant, take it as an expression 1. So, rho into A into V equal to constant, that is expression 1. From this relation, it is clear that with the change of area, both the velocity and density are affected because rho equal to or A equal to or see constant divided by rho a or a is inversely proportional to a into v. So hence to find the relation between area and velocity for compressible fluid uh, we, sh we can proceed as given below. So differentiating equation 1 we get so that is rho a v into rho into a into v equal to constant. So just apply product rule here or uh, taking rho as first term a v as second term I already did this thing in a previous derivation. So rho into differentiation of a v plus a v into differentiation of density that is equal to constant. Again apply product rule for a v. So rho into d into a v plus a v d rho equal to 0. Now apply product rule for a v rho into a d v plus v d a because uh, uh, by taking a as first term and v as second term. So rho into a d v plus v d a plus a v d rho as it is that is equal to 0. Now just multiply rho inside rho a d v plus rho v d a plus a v d rho equal to 0. So divide entire expression divided by 
rho a v we get dv by a uh, dv by v from first term uh, da by a second term plus d rho divided by rho equal to zero that is take it as expression to or equation to but the Euler's equation for compressible fluid is given by dp divided by rho uh, plus v dv plus g d z equal to zero neglecting the z term that is the uh, datum difference is zero uh, neglecting the z term the above equation is written as dp by rho plus v dv equal to zero so now uh, this equation can also be written as so here dp divided by rho plus v dv equal to zero just multiply and divide by d rho so dp divided by rho that is that's the initial term into just multiply divide and divide by d rho d rho divided by d rho plus v dv equal to zero that is by dividing and multiplying by d rho so or dp divided by d rho just rearrange because if we want in Bernoulli's equation to substitute the value of dp by rho uh, uh, you have to make so, uh, like some of the modification dp divided by d rho into d rho divided by rho uh, plus v dv equal to zero but dp by d rho what is dp by d rho that is from velocity of sound that is uh, c equal to square root of dp by d rho so in order to get dp by d rho you have to take square on both sides so c square equal to dp divided by d rho so dp divided by d rho equal to c square hence the above equation becomes in place of dp divided by d rho you can replace by c square c square into dp by rho plus v dv equal to zero or c square into d, dp divided by uh, 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 c square into uh, dp divided by rho equal to minus v dv or uh, okay i made one mistake here dp divided by d uh, dp by rho into d uh, d rho divided by d rho plus v dv equal to zero dividing and multiplying by d rho so we get dp divided by d rho into d rho divided by rho plus v dv equal to zero but dp by d rho as i explained early earlier in a previous derivation dp by d rho equal to c square so hence the above equation becomes in place of dp divided by d rho that is c square c square into d rho divided by rho that is not dp d rho divided by d rho because it's a remaining term plus v dv equal to zero or c square into d rho divided by rho equal to minus v dv so or d rho divided by rho that is equal to just rearrange minus v dv divided by c square or uh, d rho divided by rho equal to minus v dv divided by c square substituting the value of d rho divided by rho in equation 2 that's equation 2 is this one uh, that is dv divided by v plus da divided by a plus d rho by rho equal to 0 in place of d rho divided by rho, rho you can substitute uh, minus v dv divided by c square so substituting the value of d rho divided by rho in equation 2 we get dv divided by a plus uh, dv divided by v plus da divided by a minus v dv divided by c square equal to 0 so that is in place of d rho divided by rho i substituted minus v dv divided by c square that is equal to 0 now get expression for da divided by a uh, by rearranging da divided by a equal to v dv divided by c square minus dv divided by v uh, so take dv divided by v uh, common term that is the second term dv divided by v so remaining term in like first term that is v square divided by c square so upon multiplication of dv divided by v into v square by c square we are going to get we get uh, v dv divided by c square so dv divided by v into v square divided by c square minus one what is v by c v by c is mach number so we have here square so that becomes mach number square so da divided by a that is equal to dv divided by v into my m square minus one so above equation gives relationship between change of area that is da uh, da uh, with change of velocity that is with dv for different mark numbers that is m so now we have to write conclusion for above expression for m is less than one what is m is less than one that is subsonic flow uh, the right hand side of the equation is negative that is uh, right hand side of the equation is dv divided by v into m square minus one w what is the reason that is because of Mach number is less than 1 so uh, some uh, Mach number is less you can consider as some 0 0.5 0 0.5 square minus 1 that becomes negative so left hand uh, right hand side equation becomes negative therefore from that we can write conclusion like this uh, 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 da divided by a is greater than 0 
uh, and dv divided by v is less than zero. This means that you can see a uh, area increases uh, that is a greater than sign. Area increases when area increases, velocity should decrease. So otherwise, it is vice versa. When velocity increases, area should decrease. So for m is greater than one, that is. That is for supersonic flow, uh, you can consider 1.2 or 1.5, 1.5 squared minus 1. So that is a greater value. So that's a positive value. So dI divided by A is greater than 0 and dV divided by V is greater than 0. So uh, from conclusion, you can write as like this. dI divided by A is greater than 0. dV divided by V is greater than 0. This means that with the increase of velocity, area also increases. Last case, for m equal to 1, so you can apply m equal to 1 for this expression dA divided by A equal to dV divided by B into m square minus 1. So m is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that, that becomes that time dA divided by A equal to 0. dA divided by A equal to 0. This means area is constant. So dA equal to 0. So upon taking uh, uh, integration, you can get A equal to constant. So let's go for some problems, uh, two problems. Find the Mach number when an aeroplane is flying at 1100 km per hour through still air having a pressure of 7 Newton per centimeter and temperature of minus 5 degree centigrade. Wind velocity may be taken as 0. Take R equal to 287.14 Joule per kg Kelvin. Calculate the pressure, temperature and density of air at a stagnation point on the nose of the plane. Take gamma equal to 1.4. Take gamma equal to 1.4 or k equal to 1.4. Given a speed of aeroplane, that is v is given, that is similar to speed of projectile uh, or what uh, speed of the fluid, that is capital V. Or uh, instead of uh, that's capital C is speed of velocity, you have to remember that thing. So speed of aeroplane is given by 1100 kilometer per hour. So you have to convert from kilometer r per hour to meter per second. This is SI unit of velocity. So that can be done. I already explained about this thing. Kilometer is 1000 meter, R can be converted to second by uh, 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 knowing the conversion factor that is 1 R equal to 3600 second. So 1100 into 1000 divided by 60 into 60. So that gives a value of 305.55 meter per second. The pressure of air is given as P1, 7 Newton per centimeter square from Newton per Newton centimeter square you have to convert to Newton per meter square that is done by just multiplying 10 to the power 4. 7 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square. Temperature T1 equal to minus 5 degrees centigrade. That's a small letter T1. So capital letter T1 equal to minus 5 plus 273. That is equal to 268 degree Kelvin. R equal to 287.14 joule per kg Kelvin. And K or gamma equal to 1.4. Using the relation C equal to square root of KRT for velocity of sound for adiabatic process, we have C1 equal to square root of Gamma RT or K RT 1.4 into 287.14 into 268 that is, that is equal to 328.2 meter per second. Now Mach number you can find M1 or simply you can write M equal to V by C. M1 equal to V1 divided by C1 that is equal to we have values of V1 and C1 305.55 divided by 328.20 that gives a value of 0.931. So that is subsonic flow. Now uh, they told to find Mach number that is over. Uh, next, you have to find uh, uh, pressure, temperature and density of air at stagnation point where velocity is zero. So now uh, let us write the expression for stagnation pressure. You have to remember, as I already told you, you have to remember this expression. P s equal to P1 plus uh, P s equal to P1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 or k minus 1 divided by 2 m1 square or m square to the power gamma divided by gamma minus 1 or k divided by k minus 1. So just substitute the values. 7 into 10 to the power 4 into 1 plus 1.4 minus 1 as value of specific heat gamma is 1.4 divided by 2 uh, into uh, 0.931 square to the power 1.4 divided by 1.4 minus 1. So that gives a value of uh, stagnation pressure as 12.24 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square. So you can convert to newton per centimeter square otherwise you can keep in standard unit or SI unit 12.24 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square or 10 to the power 4 is centimeter square as uh, there is a conversion factor uh, you already know divided by 10 to the power 4 you can convert back to uh, new newton per centimeter square that gives a value of 12.24 newton per centimeter square 
Next, stagnation temperature. There's a correlation again. T s equal to T1 into 1 plus K minus 1 divided by 2 M1 square. Just substitute the values. 268 into 1 plus 1.4 minus 1 divided by 2 into 0 0.931 square equal to 268 into 1.1733 equal to 314.44 degree Kelvin. So again convert back to degree centigrade that can be done directly by sub subtracting 273 from capital letter TS. So that gives 314.43 minus 273 that is equal to 41.44 degree centigrade. Next stagnation density. So as I already told in derivation, you did not remember expression for uh, stagnation density. Uh, you have to remember just equation of state that is, that is PS divided by rho s equal to RTS. Now we have values of PS and TS and R value anyway it is given in problem. So just rearrange the terms to get rho s. So rho s equal to PS divided by RTS. So rho s equal to PS value you have 12.24 into 10 to the power 4. Again here remember uh, to substitute the values of PS in a uh, uh, Newton per meter square is the SI unit. So 12.24 into 10 to the power 4 divided by R value is 287.14 into TS value again in Kelvin 314.44 that gives a value of density 1.355 kg per meter cube. That's the value solution. Okay, next problem. Calculate the stagnation pressure, temperature and density at the stagnation point on the nose of plane, plane which is flying at 800 km per hour through still air having a pressure 8.0 Newton per centimeter square absolute and temperature minus 10 degrees centigrade. Take R equal to 287 Joule per kg Kelvin and K or gamma equal to 1.4. So speed of plane that is capital letter V equal to 800 km per hour convert to meter per second. So 800 into 1000 divided by 60 into 60 or 3600 equal to 222.22 meter per second. So pressure of air P1 8.0 Newton per centimeter square convert from Newton per centimeter square to Newton per meter square. So 8 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per meter square. Temperature T small letter T1 that is equal to minus 10 degree centigrade. Capital letter T1 equal to minus 10 plus 273 that is equal to 268 Kelvin. R equal to 287 Joule per kg Kelvin. K or gamma value equal to 1.4. So for adiabatic flow velocity of sound is given by C equal to square root of KRT or e, that is equal to square root of 1.4 into 287 into 263 that is equal to 325.07 meter per second. So Mach number that is M, M equal to V by C as you know from a Mach number definition itself that is equal to 222.22 divided by 325.07 equal to 0 0.683 that is a subsonic flow. So this Mach number is the local Mach number or hence equal to M1. You can directly take M equal to M1 here that is 0.683 because in equation for PS and TS that is the Mach number is M is replaced by M1. So that is with respect to 0.1. So that is same. So PS equal to P1 for, from stagnation temperature PS equal to P1 uh, that is into 1 plus K minus 1 divided by 2 M1 square to the power K by K minus 1 that is equal to uh, 8.0 into 10 to the power 4 into 1 plus 1.4 minus 1 divided by 2 into 0 0.683 whole square into 1 point to, to, to the power 1.4 divided by 1.4 minus 1. So that gives a value of stagnation uh, pressure as 10.93 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per meter square. You just write in Newton per meter square in order to avoid the confusion. So using equation, uh, equation for stagnation temperature that is given by Ts equal to T1 into 1 plus k minus 1 divided by 2 uh, into m1 square equal to uh, 263 plus 1.4 minus 1 divided by 2 into 0 0.683 whole square. So that gives a value of temperature 287.5 Kelvin. So I convert back to uh, uh, centigrade or you can keep as it is 287.5 Kelvin. Upon conversion to uh, centigrade uh, uh, we are going to get 14.5 degree centigrade. This is not, actually not necessary. So next you, uh, in order to calculate uh, there's a stagnation density we have equation of state P by rho equal to RT. So we want a stagnation point here. So just replace by P by rho by S terms and T by TS. So PS divided by rho S equal to RTS. So rho S equal to PS divided by RTS. So we have values of PS and TS. There's a stagnation pressure and te a stagnation temperature from uh, a previous case. There's a case uh, like a, a stagnation pressure and stagnation temperature value. So just substitute and R value anyway it is given in problem. So stagnation density equal to 10.93 into 10 to the power 4 divided by 287 into 287.5 equal to 1.324 kg per meter cube. There's the answer stagnation density.
okay last problem uh, calculate the velocity and Mach number of supersonic aircraft uh, flying at an altitude of 1000 meter where temperature is 200, 280 Kelvin and sound of aircraft is heard 2.15 seconds after the passage of aircraft on the head of the observer. Take gamma equal to 1.41 and R equal to 287 joule per kg Kelvin for air. So this was the question asked in June July 2017 and December 2017 and Jan 2018. This problem is not there in the Arcade Bunsen textbook. So just note down this problem. So solution. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that that can be started by writing the given data uh, h equal to 1000 meter there is a height uh, and t equal to 280 kelvin there is a temperature t equal to there is a time it is given not capital letter t it is it is a time equal to 2.15 second gamma or k value equal to 1.41 r equal to 287 joule per kg kelvin there is a gas constant now velocity of the sound wave is given by c equal to square root of gamma rt or k rt so that is equal to one square root of 1.41 gamma value is given as 1.41 into 287 into 280 that is equal to 336.61 meter per second is the velocity of sound now you can uh, write one diagram so zero o is the point where observer is standing a is the point where the aeroplane is flying so well uh, the sound of sound of aeroplane can be heard or when the aeroplane reaches the position a dash uh, that is uh, after 2.5 1 2.15 second you can uh, the, the observer can hear sound of aeroplane initially observer is standing at o and a is the uh, height where aeroplane is flying and when aeroplane reaches to a, a point a dash the observer that is after time 2.515 sec, uh, second he can hear the sound of uh, aeroplane so in the given figure O denotes the position of observer and A denotes the position of aircraft just above the observer. The aircraft reaches position A after 2.1 seconds. Here alpha denotes Mach angle. Take O A dash A as alpha and O dash O A dash denotes wave friend. This is the velocity of sound. So now uh, from uh, the, uh, uh, the definition of velocity, velocity equal to distance by time distance is a a dash so distance by time time is 2.15 so velocity can be taken as v so just multiply in order to get distance that is a a dash or distance equal to velocity into time so velocity is v and time is 2.15 second so 2.5 into v now from figure you can apply tan tan alpha equal to opposite divided by adjacent opposite is uh, oa that is thousand and adjacent is 2.15 v that is the distance whatever you obtained from uh, uh, velocity definition velocity equal to distance by time or distance equal to velocity into time so a a dash that is a a dash that is adjacent so 2.15 v so that tan alpha equal to 1000 divided by 2.15 v or upon simplification 465.116 divided by v take it as expression 1 now Mach number is given by m equal to v by c or there is a one more expression that is equal to 1 by sin alpha uh, this alpha is Mach angle so that is that you have to remember so you can get value of V as V equal to C divided by sin alpha upon, upon rearrangement so we C value we know 336.6119 divided by sin alpha that is uh, take it as expression 2 so substituting 2 in 1 that is V, v value tan alpha equal to 465.116 in place of V we can substitute 336.6119 divided by sin alpha so tan alpha equal to 465.116 divided by 336.6119 divided by sin alpha so but tan alpha is sin alpha divided by cos alpha you know from basic maths so sin alpha divided by cos alpha that is equal to uh, 465 uh, divided by 336.6119 uh, so sin alpha goes to numerator so 465.116 divided by 336.6119 that becomes 1.3817 or sin alpha so sin alpha divided by cos alpha equal to 1.3817 sin alpha you can cancel sin alpha terms on right hand side as well as uh, left hand side so remaining term is uh, 1 by cos alpha equal to 1.3817 or cos alpha equal to 1 divided by 1.3817 so 1 divided by 1.3817 is 0.7237 so cos alpha equal to 0.7237 alpha equal to cos inverse of 0.7237 that value you are going to get as 43.63 uh, degree so this is a value of Mach angle so this is a problem related to 
uh, fifth module one more topic is pending that is uh, normal and oblique oblique shocks that i'll come uh, i'll discuss about that thing in next video so before that uh, i'm planning to do third module that is uh, sorry fourth module dimension and analysis so from tomorrow onwards i'll be uh, speaking about dimension and analysis there's a very important concept okay thank you